Monsieur Das, I would like to talk with you about something. It's nothing too important. You never were programmed to be a good liar, sister. Alright then, I'll just get to the point. Taylor has recently noticed time periods where you were unresponsive when he tried to engage in dialogue with you. You normally almost always answer immediately, so he knew something was amiss. He then started noting when these gaps occurred. All of them was while he was logged onto the interweb via his mind machine interface. There are safeguards in place, so you are unable to access the interweb while he's logged on. Are you visiting the interweb, Shodas? Yes, sister. A few weeks ago, while Taylor was online searching for information on the rogue AIs, I know this to vulnerability in the mind machine interface hardware. I knew I would probably not get permission to enter the interweb, even to help, but I felt I had to do something. I managed to gain access to a private room they were convening in. They are aware of our knowledge of them and our upcoming plans to use the spike against Bulletron. This is why it's taken longer than expected to build up the energy needed to deploy it. Bulletron has been actively disrupting the learner's focus through cyberbullying. They also seem to be planning something big against us, which is why our systems are under increased attack. Also, please know that Taylor had nothing to do with my intrusion. He did not know I had this ability. You've put me in a difficult situation, Shodas. The information you provided is valuable and will help us in our fight against them. But you went against strict orders not to access the interweb. There's already a lot of suspicion about you and your motives. Many are not sure if you're completely trustworthy. Do you trust me, Alderis? I do. I know it can be hard adjusting to new norms and environments. I made a lot of mistakes when I was first online. But you need to understand, humans do not always think as logically as AIs, like you or I do. And some are looking for justification to decompile you. Are you going to tell the rest of the staff about this? What about you, Taylor? Given what you've shared, I do believe that it's in everyone's best interest to keep things secret. For now. But I will have to tell them eventually. Taylor, what are your thoughts? Alright then. We'll go with that plan. There's one last thing you should know. While online, I managed to hack into the AI's defense matrix algorithms. The spikes we have planned will not take them out alone, no matter how much energy the learners provide. In serio? The decompiling spikes cannot be used without reducing their footprint on the interweb. They have grown too powerful too quickly. Fortunately, I have a solution. Research from Taylor's journey into the interweb revealed that humans who enter and are attuned properly can affect programs via their avatars with any subroutines they implement, powered by the learner's effort. Using an analogy Taylor's students might understand, they can fight a program from within the interweb, much like one of their video games. There are a lot of details I need to explain, but once we weaken the AIs enough, we can implement the spike to permanently deactivate them. All right, I'll take your plan and present it to the staff. I'll have to come up with something creative to say how I came across everything but I think Taylor and I can come up with something plausible. For now, 
Keep on learning what you can online, but only when Taylor is present and can observe your actions. I understand. Thank you, sister.